so hello everyone so in this video we will be seeing how we can uh, leverage uh, geo location api and uh, how we can plot the our location in a map using leaflet js so hope you like this video so let's just dive into it okay so let's begin so first of all i have uh, uh, just uh, a basic html template so inside my script tag i am writing a function okay i am writing a function let's say name is display just a basic function okay so now in google type uh, geo location api okay so open this link mdn web docs and here you should find geolocation api so there are some sample code what i will be doing is i will take this part so what this part actually will do is see all browsers do not support a uh, geolocation api right so this actually this set of if else statement checks whether your browser supports this this only if it supports then it will run the code or logic whatever is written over there or else it will not write, uh, not uh, render that code okay so for now we are just doing console dot log and here we are writing geolocation is not present or not supported for this browser and the same we will be copying in the else statement but here is supported okay so if navigator dot geolocation is not supported then uh it will display that and else uh, if it supported it should display so let's go to our browser and let's open uh, by clicking on f12 you should be uh, getting this developer con uh, console and here you should see okay so okay so for this we have to call this function okay we haven't called this function so let's just call this function and you see geo location is supported for this browser okay so this is being supported so we will get this function which is the get current position okay we will be getting the current position but we won't require this uh, as we will uh, we will write our own method so either you can write a method like this can write a method like this this is a callback function so or you can write a, a much simpler one which es6 provides so position and here what you do is here we will just first of all console dot log and the position so let's just go and check again so now you see that uh, we are seeing this pop up with allow or block the access so uh, every user should have the permission to uh, hide their location show their location so i am clicking on allow and if you see uh, we get this uh, coordinates okay we are getting the latitude and the longitude over here okay so we have got this information now we want to filter out the information so for that what we will do is we will have const data equals and inside this what we will be having is uh, inside this we will be having latitude equals position dot quads dot and then latitude so how uh, i know this is see i will try to navigate to you uh, guide you through the navigation 
so see this is the object uh, this is the uh, json uh, which is getting returned and if you see the below here it's latitude inside coordinates okay so words inside that you have the latitude so for that reason uh, i am uh, in my position which is here inside that i have this words and inside that i have the latitude okay so now similarly we will have the longitude which is position dot words dot longitude okay and we will just now uh, console the console and log that data so you see we have filtered out only the latitude and longitude okay so this is uh, it now we will uh, we have leveraged the uh, geolocation api but we want to display it inside a map so how we do that we will for this case we will be using leaflet js and open street map okay so go to leaflet js website and here uh, you should find this quick start guide okay so click on that so here you will get uh, the cdn link so uh, without which uh, you won't be able to leverage uh, leaflet js so just uh, copy that now uh, once this is done what we will do is we will have a div okay we will have a div inside so inside this it's just a basic div where we will display our map okay so this is our div uh, where we will be displaying our map so we'll give some style uh, style uh, basic styling so let's uh, give our data height of let's say 450 pixels okay so this is the place uh, where it will be displayed so let's go further and let's see so now we have to uh, see what this line of code uh, does is this actually uh, calls the map uh, function and what it does is it map actually links to our div which is the, our div has map id as the id if you notice uh, map id the id is map id so it will uh, link that and place the map uh, the frame of the leaflet js inside that so we will just take this and we will put it here so now we will set the zoom function so th uh, this is actually set the initial uh, zoom so let's set it to 3 so that it's a uh, bit zoomed out and we will need layer so tile layer c if we render this now what you see you see a frame has come up but uh, the tiles are not shown the map is not actually displayed uh, over here so how do you display that so we will require tiles so this uh, tile layer we will be adding that you see add to my map so your map object which you have created just now my map it is adding the tile layer to that map okay to that map and uh, this is the link of the map uh, the open street map uh, which you are using the tiles from okay you can use any tiles provider so but if you see if i just copy and paste this this won't work okay this won't work so so you see there is a uh, it is not getting called okay so the tiles are not getting uh, displayed uh, why is that because there is something called access token so it needs a token or a api key in order to display uh, uh, the tiles okay so it's a paid version so uh, there are some free version so go to open street map tiles and inside that you see these are the links all you can leverage but not all are free okay some are free uh, with some limited amount of access and uh, some are paid for which uh, 
see this are this is free funded by donation but some you uh, although it is free some might not work so do your testing uh, there are various kinds of maps uh, tiles available okay so i have uh, see go, go went through this uh, uh, sheet and i have found some which works okay so type card to and you should uh, you should navigate to this to so i have found that this to maps uh, work uh, mapping tiles work so i have you can go through all the links and you can check which works uh, so here we have two uh, two colors which is one is dark color and another one is white color so let's choose this one and paste it in, instead of this ur okay so that's it and you should be able to see your map so you have your map and it's a complete map if you zoom in if you see as you zoom in you should be able to see everything okay see you are able uh, you should be able to see every uh, location and everything so it's a map and also you can use this if you want to okay so let me show you that as well so that's a dark theme for this so same map same map only the color is different so if i zoom in you see the map is here and uh, but i will use the white version for this video so now our work is to display that so how we do that so go a little below so see you can use like this circle uh, to circle the location or you can use a uh, a marker okay so you can use a marker so in this case i will use a circle so let me grab this so what it is this is doing is this uh, set uh, this is setting some properties like color what color the circle will be and all those and then what it is doing is it is adding this feature to my map object okay so just take this and inside uh, your navigation where you now know that the navigation is working for this browser inside that place this okay inside that place this uh, just below okay below after you have this data object we will need the latitude and longitude so instead of this hard coded value we will use our data dot lat and data dot long so that's our value and now if you go again so what this is doing actually this is adding the circle this is adding the circle to the map to the location where my current location is okay so let's just click on allow and you see so it is showing that in the map okay you can zoom in and you see uh, if you zoom more you should see a big circle now let's zoom in uh, and you see the circle is uh, so this is actually showing uh, uh, the location okay inside the map okay so it is showing the location inside the map and uh, it is showing the current location of the user okay where the user is located so hope you learned uh, how you can use the geolocation api and uh, leverage it inside your leaflet js application which you are building using javascript so in this case i have showed you uh, showed this to you using vanilla javascript so hope